Now, in this tutorial, we're just going to uh, explore some of the tools available for natural lighting uh, that we have in Revit. So I've created a very simple uh, sitting room kind of layout here. So we have a couple of windows uh, on the south side, um, another window here to the west, and uh, sofas, coffee table, and a um, uh, fireplace just for orientation in the room. So uh, I created a camera already as well, so that is actually located uh, up in this corner here. And what we're going to do now is have a look at these tools. So along the bottom, you'll see we have a couple of options available to us. Now here we have sun path on or off, but this also gives us another uh, item to play with called sun settings. So I'll have a look at that in a moment. The other item is turning on shadows. So if I click on this, um, you can see that we have uh, we have light casting on the floor here. So this is shadows turned on. There's a few artifacts here and there, but generally speaking, it's pretty okay. So turning those off again. Um, now, to get a better uh, indication of how this is going to look, we need to set up the location and some other information in the sun settings here. So at the moment, it's just looking, uh, it's got a couple of, of bits of information here in relation to the sun. But if we click on to still here, we can geolocate our building. So what I'm going to do is just click in here and fire up the internet mapping service. So just zooming out on this, and I'm going to pick this up and pop it into Limerick. Uh, just move around here. And we can be quite accurate with this. So it is basically Google Maps. So we can find uh, where LIT is and just pop it in. So that to me looks like LIT. Yep, that's us. So we'll just stick it there near the roundabout and click OK. So you'll see there it now has a location set up here. Now the date it will display is the current date. So what I can do with that is change it to something like the, I don't know, 24th of June. And then we can set a time of the day. So I'm going to set this to, well, let's see what it's like in the morning at 9 anyway. We also need to set the ground plane, so we'll set that at level 0. And we can apply this. Uh, you can save this set, these settings if you want for later use. So I'll click on OK. And now if I turn on shadows again, we'll see that, well, we don't have anything casting in here at the moment. Uh, we see a little bit of information there um, in relation to that. But for the most part, we're not seeing any real shadow casting going on in here. Um, let's have a look at the sun settings again and perhaps change the time of day. So maybe let's push it up to the evening time. Apply on that and you can see there the change that that has made. So maybe drop it back another bit. And you can see the light is, well, by mi at 1 o'clock in the day it's primarily around here. And if we push it to later on in the day it's primarily coming in through this west side, which is what we'd expect. Um, and that would be it. Actually, you can the summer solstice. There we go. There's another one there. We can apply that. And that's what we're going to see from this particular um, set of uh, parameters. Okay, so let's click OK on that. That's one possibility. Uh, the other thing we can do is uh, create an animation on this one. So back into sun settings here, and I'm going to say single day. Um, and what we can get here, that was a still the first one, this is a single day. Um, so a one day solar study. Um, you can choose whatever day you want as well on this one. So you can go for a solstice or uh, an equinox, depending on what you want. Again, I'm just going to go for June 24th, see what happens. By default, it's pulling between 10 and 1600. So we can change that to sunrise to sunset. And we can also set the time interval. Now, by default, if we pick these settings, it's going to give us 17 frames. But we can drop this down to 15 minutes, for instance. And we'll now see that we'll get 67 uh, frames. As before, we will have the ground plane at level 0. So we click Apply on that, and then click OK. So nothing really happening here at the moment, as you can imagine. Uh, we do have this information here. Now, what's actually happening there is a if I go back to this, this door here is a glass panel. So when we go back into here, that is what's casting along here. 
So depending on what amount of light uh, popping in from whatever uh, room is behind it, obviously there's nothing here at the moment. To get this information out, what we need to do is export it. So what we'll do is go into export, and if we go down a bit on this, we have images and animations, and we export a solar study. So it'll pick up what we were looking at. Um, so all frames, we can set a frame rate on this one. Now, if you're creating normal kind of smooth animation, you will set the frame rate to 15, 20, whatever. Um, but because we are doing this, um, it's a solar study, we're only producing 67 frames. Mm, I suppose nearly, I suppose two frames a section, one or two sec uh, frames a second will be enough. Uh, it's going to give us 33 seconds of animation, which is probably enough. Visual style here, we can go for uh, hidden lines, shaded, shaded with edges. So we'll just see what that looks like. Um, also, because it is a solar study, it would be useful to click in the date and timestamp so you can actually see on the animation itself what's going on. So having done that, we click OK. And now we need to just give it um, a name. So sitting room 3D view 1. So I was going to call this uh, solar. Um, it'll spit it out as an AVI, AVI, click save on that. And for the most part, you're better off sticking with full frame uncompressed. You do have a number of codecs that you can use. Um, typically, I use this one here. It means that if you want to bring it into any other um, system uh, for post editing, it means you're getting all the data. Uh, so you're not relying on any particular codec. So having done that, we click OK. And what it'll do is it'll click through frame by frame and we will see how the, the light is changing in the scene. So we can see there what's happening. And I suppose later in the day we should see uh, this, yeah, this one comes into play. And that's uh, just about done. And that's it. So now if we have a look in our uh, folder for this, uh, sorry, just grab it over here. We now have the AVI file sitting in here. So I can simply play this one. I should fire up in, there we go. And again, you can see the frames, the date and time and all that kind of stuff there. Huh, 2010. Uh, just a standard default. Again, a little bit of information there. And now it'll move over to this other side. So that gives a fairly decent indication of, of what's going on. Uh, and of course, you can mess around with the settings on that as well. Okay, thank you.